SGC here, and we are back for first impression. Naoki Hanzawa season two. So after seven years, what's his face is back. Masato Sakai is back as the title character and title of the series, Naoki Hanzawa. So episode one, actually seven years. Why did it take seven years? So director is Katsuyo Fukuzawa, one of three of the directors that uh, is returning from the first season, and Kentaro Ushio, a new writer. So I didn't know this when I first watched the first series. If you don't know, this is the series since 2013. I don't know about current stats, but it's like the first series in Hisei, Hisei, Haisei, Hisei, I'm not Japanese, era to reach like 40%. Um, ratings or what have you but anyway so this is based on two novels by Jun Ikaido that came out in 2012 and 2014 and this is actually delayed um because of covid so it's supposed to come out in april but the first episode just dropped like last week and i didn't watch the episode zero that was apparently aired this year i assume like this earlier this year but anyways it's great masato sakai is back Aya Yuto is back. Mitsuhiro Okawa from uh, Grand Maison Tokyo is here. I actually didn't, that's why he looked familiar in Grand Maison because I actually seen him in, in this like freaking seven years ago. And everyone else, um, we got we got some returning folks. We got the, like, the higher people like Teriyuki Kagawa, Arata Furuto, Furu, Fur, Furuta. Uh, Kenya Kutauji um, and uh, Haruka Igawa. They're back. And most people, everyone else seems to be new. We got a new, new folks, new team type of thing. So as a first episode, it actually doesn't really talk about what happened in the first season, which is smart. But at the same time, I needed a refresher. So I actually had to go and read the synopsis of season one and everything came flooding back. Like granted, we do remember, granted I do remember the whole thing with Akira Owada, um, the, 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 the guy, the manager guy from the central, from Tokyo Showbank. So it's like, there's so many names that I forget. So we have Masato who was in I mean, we have Hanzawa who was in Osaka and then he goes to Tokyo and then he gets promoted to be sh chief of some place. So this is the current central security. That's where he's working now. And there's the show, Tokyo show bank where he wants to go back to or where he originally was. So they don't really talk about that. They mentioned a little bit. We got, we got a newcomer Inusuke Ichikawa playing Taiji Iseyama, who is like the subordinate of the guy that Hanzawa screwed over or the guy that screwed over Hanzawa in the first season. So he shows up and then he's all like, I'm gonna mess up your life too because you messed up my senior's life, blah, blah, blah. And then that's it. That's basically the entire like mention of season one. And I think it doesn't really matter if you remember what happened in season one, except for like, there was a lot of yelling and a lot of double payback that's my motto type of thing and that's it i think going forward with that in mind you sort of know but man this first episode unhinged like oh my goodness like hanzo is is just crazy really like his demeanor with his juniors with his wife could be like going from caring to like let me inspire you to take over the world and then to like the mean people he's just intense so intense like when he smacks the table he's like talk Ooh, like he, he's a good yeller so one thing i did forget was how like intense this entire series is and this newcomer isiyama it's also like that. He he plays his lines as if he's in a samurai film or something. Like so expression, like 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 using his face. So comical. That definitely reminds me why there are moments that I liked Legal High 
more than this. Legal high is so over the top that you sort of accept this and that's it. But here they try to make things a little bit realistic and they try to teach you some banking stuff. So it's kind of like, okay, like I, I get how, like your narrative, you're trying to be realistic here, but your characters are just like too over the top sometimes. But I, I digress really. I'm so glad that it's back. Why did it take seven years? I don't know. Like no one ever even talked about it. Was there even a talk about a sequel season really? I mean, granted he was transferred. He never went back to the main branch, which is, I mean, the main company. Now he's in a subsidiary. And I sort of like accepted that as an ending. So it was kind of a nice surprise that there is a season two and like what's gonna happen now we, we we get to see his buddy play by Oki Okawa Oikawa um, our uh, Grand Maison buddy and so there's more of that like I, I don't even know how many episodes there are for this season like probably less than 11 or something I don't I don't remember um, let me check checking yeah, so I mean, last season there was 10 episodes. I'm assuming this is going to be roughly the same. So are we just going to yell at people and try to get back or I don't know. So so there's a lot of unknowns, which is kind of nice. But I do wonder, like, why is there a season two? Is he going to go back to the main bank and get? But then he doesn't seem like it. Like the fact that with the fact with this first episode, he's already said that I'm just doing it right. And I want to serve my customers at best and, you know, keep the name and all that. And that's like very like morally great. So where's this going? So who knows? I mean, as a first episode, a lot of things happen already. And it seems like people are just trying to screw him over and backstabbings happen. But there's a new junior team. So that would be nice to, to play off that. Like how his wife said he's a middle aged man now. I mean... I think I missed it if there was, but I don't know how much time passed with um, this season and last season. Like, I, I maybe they did ha say that, but I, I couldn't find it. Tell me if you know. But anyways, I'm glad that it is back, but at the same time, I'm kind of weary as to where it's gonna go. I mean, the acting wise, it's kind of nice. Granted, I did start watching Dr. Rintaro and that seems a little bit more my cup of tea and Hanzawa actually looks kind of sick in this like his eyes are like kind of white so like the areas around his eyes are kind of white it looks very sickish so I don't know if that's gonna be like he's gonna get sick or, or is that just something that they did with makeup I, I don't know but anyways talked long enough it is back check it out first episode has dropped and can't wait to see the second episode and see where this entire season goes. Will there be a season three? I don't think so. I hope not. We don't really need sequels for Japanese dramas, but Legal High 3, that can go on forever. Like Legal High is just more like a trial of the week or two, three episodes or what have you. And that, that that's just great fun really, because it's so, doesn't take itself too seriously. But here I feel like could it be a rehash of the first season of just people screwing him over and then he double pay back him back? I don't know. So anyway, that's it. So keep liking, keep watching and subscribe and share because sharing is caring. And that's it for this first impression of Hanzawa Naoki season two, episode one out.